It's April Fool's Day, so haha, I'm quitting YouTube, I don't have enough time. Haha, <laughs> not really. <laughs> there you are, that's what constitutes an April Fool's nowadays, so I've done my part. <laughs> oh no, I can't put much more into it than that. Can't we at least, that is it, that is all you're getting for April Fool's, have fun. Can't we at least open a window, the fumes are giving me a headache. Hendrix sighed but stood up. After a loud screech, the window flew open and we were greeted with a gust of wind. My arms huddled close to my body. Cold. <laughs> You're allowed to say more than one word at a time. Here we go. He left the window ajar, although it amplified the noise of the rain splattering against the foliage and pavement. At least the sour smell of the nail polish was not as strong. I could see why the lab work was preferably done outside. It felt cramped and cooped up on the second floor. The earthy smell of the remains and their repulsive coating wafted across the room as well. Hen, come here. Oh right, that's Rosemary saying that. Hmm? Rosemary cursed and did one of those really dumb angry faces and glanced up from her laptop from the other side of the room. There was a projector hooked up and she jammed a flash drive into the USB port. The white screen was already down and everything was running. She was preparing a slideshow presentation, but she needed assistance. Then why are you angry? You want to entice him over, don't you? Hey, look, I'm gonna need your help with something, but I'm gonna be really uncooperative and angry. It's like, oh well, let me run over. I glanced down at the millionth cave bear phalanx and delicately swept off the dirt with a toothbrush. Cave bear finger bones sure reminded me of human ones, besides the obvious size difference. To my left, DeAndre groaned as he dipped the nib pen back into the bottle. This is impossible, how do you write so tiny by not having such big hands? I said, if you're a lot, you're like six foot seven, <laughs> so you're quite tall. We don't all have that big hands. Do you know a fun fact about me? And this isn't an April Fool's. When I was 13, I had size 10 and a half feet, and I can't walk properly because my feet drop off to the side. <laughs> they said I all look like I had clown shoes on. That's fun, isn't it? It looks like there's any other stone. That was really a thing. Like, it, I, I still can't walk. My feet flop off to the side slightly. He showed the flint to me on his outstretched palm, and I studied it. See how the rock has this swelling at the end? It doesn't occur naturally. It looks like someone has struck it. I guess I don't see many rocks with ripples like this. See, the rock rolled off his angled palm. He tried to save it, but fumbled. I darted my hands out, slapping the rock between my fingers awkwardly right as his hands covered mine. So this is a awkward forged moment, is it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's so awkward. You, you, you placed your hands on mine. <laughs> oh, no. That is, this is a non-problem. We both froze and exchanged glances before we started laughing. If our movements didn't draw attention, we certainly did now. What are you two doing? I'm giving him a hand job. And by that I mean I'm massaging his hands. Don't, don't, you know, just saying. We hastily removed onto our hands. None of us wanted to admit that Hendrik, <laughs> to Hendrik that we nearly dropped a rock. I was admiring her nails. Sure you were. I see. Don't mean to sound crusty, but it's probably best to save the beauty talc for after. Heh, <laughs> okay. We both returned to our tasks and DeAndre leaned over, lowering his voice. Thanks for that, I didn't want a repeat of last time. Last time? Yeah, when I dropped her- ah, oh, never mind, it's not important. <laughs> what ever could he mean? He placed the flint back on the table. I'd rather not mess up again, that's all. He trailed off, slumped back in his seat, and I decided to give him his space. A few minutes later, Hendrik approached the table sheepishly, then titled his... Titled? No. Tilted his chin toward the laptop that Rosemary frantically typed on. <laughs> she's just typing, I want porn, I want porn, I want porn, I want porn. That's all she's typing. Hendrik announced something in French. <laughs> just saw it. Just saw it. His pupils dilated and went, ooh la la. Then delivered a translation as he glanced in my direction. Anyone fluent in computer? We can't seem to get the projector working. Yeah, well, if you watch that much porn on it, it will get infected eventually. DeAndre and I exchanged glances, and he stood up to get a better view of the screen. He sat down promptly, looking apologetic. Sorry, mate, I use a different operating system. <laughs> what are they using? 
Max, it's fucked. You need to bring it back. I didn't consider myself super projector savvy, but I did do presentations and classes that use them. YOLO, as the kids say, we're taking a stab at it. I can take a look, I guess. I make no promises, I only have some experience. It's worth a shot. Rosemary stepped out of the way as I leaned over her laptop and I navigated the mouse and glanced at the light shining on the projector screen. Look, if we see any dirty folders in there, I won't say if you don't say, okay? Everything seemed to be in working order, so was it already reset? Yes, I reset the laptop. Well, it's actually called restarting. So, oh, awkward to tell, I know. Ah, technology. Maybe we should use the overhead projector. Hendrix, I still have those old transparencies. I have no idea how to work it anymore. Besides, I want people to enjoy learning archaeology, not think we're fossils if we resort to using that. You already forgot, remember, when they used to be ubiquitous? Professors would fight over when they could use them. I hated being the one designated to wheel those in. While they chatted, I tinkered around while resetting both the audiovisual device and the laptop. I toggled the presentation displays, growing increasingly frustrated. What was I doing wrong? Was it the projector itself? Has no one, like, looked at the projector itself to see if it's on? On a whim, I leaned to check over the cables and... I couldn't tell if my hand smacked my face or if my face smacked my hand. The cable was loose between the devices. I fixed it, then played with the laptop again. <laughs> what heroes we are. Let's just pretend it was really difficult. Let's pretend that you need, like, a massive knowledge of C+, in order to get anywhere near it. <laughs> they won't know, it's fine. Sure enough, the room was basked in a gentle blue glow from the desktop displaying on the screen. You did it! What was the problem? Just the loose cable? I gestured to the AV device. Well... Suddenly everything went pitch black. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's still light outside, isn't it? How does that work? The sunlight stopped coming through the window! Really? <laughs> yes, the sun stopped working. Shit, we're in for a bigger problem than I thought we were. What was that? A few of the students gasped and chatter immediately sprung forth. Can you fix that too, Melissa? A power outage not possible, yeah. If the sun's died, uh, we're probably going to all freeze to death any minute. I guess we're not getting that lecture either way tonight. I highly doubt the electricity will return soon in this storm. Oh, I felt a gentle pat on my shoulder. Shame it happened, but it didn't go to waste. Good work there, champ. Oh, so that was the... Well done for Hendrik? Oh, God, no. Yeah, you remember when we said knew something about computers? Well, apparently we still know something about computers because that's the furthest back we can get. <laughs> we just got points with Hendrik. Thanks. Since there was no point in continuing the lab work, we all decided to clean up. Hendrik and the others turned on some flashlights and phones for light as well. Oh, great. We failed at volunteering. Literally worse than Kyla. I should check my email. My parents must have as I opened the lab door, I immediately froze. Augustine ranted angrily at Rosemary, who gestured to a chipped stone with tiny flakes surrounding it. Oh, someone broke shit. I blame Bigfoot. Permission to touch a... Uh, permission to touch or manipulate any... This is for my research! The two paused, then turned to me, and I covered at their annoyed stares. As I shrunk back, Augustine approached and slammed the lab door shut. Not wanting to loiter, I whirled around and collided into someone. Now I was awkwardly sandwiched between that person and the door. Sorry about that. Ugh. Well, we're not going to spend too much time in this scene. I glanced up, instantly recognising Kyla's tall frame. And his purple hair is a giveaway. Not many people have purple hair. But sure, it's a tall frame you recognised. He appeared baffled, then gazed at the door. Muffled voices still argued behind it. He took a few steps back to allow more space between us. Did something happen? From what I could gather, Augustine is mad at Rosemary over something. Why, were you planning to enter the lab too? I think Augustine is probably right if Rosemary didn't ask beforehand. If she just randomly picked shit up and broke it, like, you can sort of see why that would piss someone off. Yeah, so I was planning to ask a few questions, but it's probably not the best time now, yourself? I wanted to check my email. My laptop is in there, but I don't think they'd appreciate it if I slipped in to nab it. You could try using the computer upstairs. That old thing? Well, it's worth a shot. I mean, 
And I just got Windows 98 on it. I think we'll be all right. It was then I heard the faint clicking of a keyboard upstairs. I doubted Hendrik would remain in the lab with that sort of tension going on. Sure enough, halfway up the stairs, I spotted his auburn ponytail. I glanced back down at Kyla. Augustine had... Oh, right, okay. He was... That was Hendrik leaving. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Augustine has a ponytail? Christ, I must have missed that. I glanced back down at Kyla. Maybe it's something you can ask Hendrik. I don't like going to him. Kyla never acted this juvenile and it caught me off guard. I wonder if he'd mistranslated his words, but his body language suggested otherwise. No, 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 he's just quite petulant. If you're curious, I could ask Kendrick about the situation. Hesitantly, Kyla took a step forward and I cheered silently. I doubted Kyla would mention his original question to Hendrick, but maybe engaging him in conversation would loosen up whatever friction the two had with each other. Look, playing Peacemaker when you don't know what the problem is is a big... It's a too much of a risk. You could... They could have come to, like, punches beforehand. You won't know. <laughs> I trooped upstairs energetically and gave Hendrick a wave. Hey, working up here now? Sort of had to. Couldn't concentrate with the noise downstairs, so... Request to use his laptop quickly. Ask about what happened. How much do I care about what... Well, nah, Rosemary's in the wrong. We're gonna jump to conclusions like a true person from the internet. May I use your laptop for a second? I need to check my email. Hendrick reluctantly closed his application. <laughs> Scrambled around. Control W! Control W! Don't press that. Then shuffled the chair back a few inches. Sure, knock yourself out. Just don't take too long. Thanks. Great. While I logged in, Kyla spoke up. What are Augustine and Rosemary bickering about this time? Oh, Mum emailed me. Despite my advice, she insisted on gluing flakes to a lithic core found in A3 layers, since we've been able to uncover debitage belonging to that core. Oh, that was a fancy restaurant Dad took her to. I wish she took pictures of the food and not just the decor. I mean, maybe thinking about a situation to take your mind off it isn't a wonderful idea. And she ended up using the wrong glue. It's going to be a pain to dissemble. <laughs> yeah, she is completely in the wrong. Why'd you keep her around? All she does is cause problems for everyone. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's a link to a bunny video. Should I click on that? Log out, click for bunnies. Um... No, avoiding problems is terrible, and we're only here because of our ill-fated idea of bringing him along. Better not. I read the email. That's good enough for me. I logged out and withdrew from the computer in time to catch Herendrick's irritation. Why, despite our disagreement, she is excellent at her job. If anything, her insight has been valuable. Affronted, Hendrix stood up from his chair. Shooting Kyla an aggravated glare, Kyla flinched slightly, but his eyes narrowed again. I tensed up, wondering if I should say something to appease them or leave before... It got too heated. I only say that because I'm thinking of the excavation team's best interests. Look, if you two guys are going to be at loggerheads, you're not ever going to get anywhere. You're getting ahead of yourself here. You're acting like you're one of us already. Just because you're in my uncle's good graces doesn't mean we'll hire you once you graduate. And we're not intending to hire anyone soon, especially not an inexperienced person fresh out of university with only a few months of fieldwork under his belt. Okay, I see what they're getting at. Kyla lowered his arms, his eyes looking both resentful and distraught, as if the notion had never occurred to him. Recovering, he clenched a fist, his voice frigid with determination. Ah. Oh. Determination. I like that word better. I've excavated here longer than most people. I've certainly spent more time in the cave than you. I'm highly qualified. There's much more to digging digi diligently in the same old square. Oh, for, I didn't care if I was an outsider. Guys, guys, quit it. Look, it's great to act like the take the moral high ground, Melissa, but you did start this. If you hadn't have started it, those two wouldn't be having an argument right now. <laughs> just, just, just putting that out there. I firmly stood between them before the voices escalated even louder than the commotion downstairs. There's already one dispute. Can we not have another? I'm leaving! Let's be melodramatic. No, let's not be pricks. You both have good points, but stop. You both were on the same side, essentially, wanting the excavation here to run smoothly. I'm glad to see such devotion, but this isn't helping. I know you're concerned, but ease off on the hostility. 
Hendrik and Kyla exchanged intense looks. They're looking at me and Kyla is looking to the side. But both subsided. Hendrik relaxed, more willing to reconcile, while Kyla begrudgingly reverted his eyes. She's right, I don't agree on some things, but I definitely could have handled this better. My apologies, Kyla. No, I did say something rather undiplomatic. Rosemary is an important member of this team. Even Augustine can see that. She's just sometimes a bit of a numpty. He really hates agreeing with Hendrik unless Augustine has the same viewpoint. What? He really hates agreeing with Hendrik unless... How on earth have you determined that? Whatever. I apologise for my behaviour. With a conclusive nod, Kyla wordlessly excused himself and descended the stairs. I wavered between them indecisively. Ugh, what to do? Should I stay with Hendrik or catch up with Kyla? Can I go to my tent? Fucking stay in the hell out of this! They wouldn't have argued if you hadn't said anything! <laughs> no, I should avoid this entirely. I thanked Hendrik for using his computer and quickly departed. I needed the fresh air to clear my mind and disperse any sourness that I felt from that exchange. Hopefully they would get along later. <laughs> Well, let's just, let's just not get involved. That seems like a much better response, really, doesn't it? Oh, I love this. Woo! Um, and... I calculated the odds slightly better that time. Yeah, basically I took more than one second to think about it. <laughs> what a hero of the people I am. Stop failing at inquiring at stuff. It can't be that difficult, can it? Did we win? No, we failed. Do we at least get a nice puzzle? We do. Okay, sweet. Well, oh, fuck. this is so easy. This is... Continuing this next episode.